Let's talk about uh, helium. If we look at uh, helium, what's going on there? Helium is pouring into the atmosphere mm -hmm. from radioactive decay. Right. It's, it's going in, it's escaping from the Earth's crust at about 67 grams per second. That's the, that's the rate today. Today there's about 3.71 billion tons of helium in the atmosphere. And most of it's produced by radioactive decay right. it's, it's, as a byproduct. Now, with that amount of helium and at those rates, the atmosphere can only be 2 million years old. So that's, that's the most it can account for then? There's one dating method. It would have taken two million years to build up the helium today in the atmosphere right. at the rates that we're measuring today. It's true that every second, lots of helium atoms enter the Earth's atmosphere from the radioactive decay of uranium. But it's also true that every second, the exact same number of helium atoms leaves the top of the Earth's atmosphere and are lost to space. Thus, the total number of helium atoms in the Earth's atmosphere essentially does not change with time. The funny thing is, the picture that they displayed on their program shows exactly this process. This particular failure of creationist reasoning illustrates a general theme in creationist arguments. They will take some process in which a quantity is being created and destroyed at the same rate, pretend that it's only being created, calculate how long it would take to create the quantity and the amount that we have today, starting with none of this quantity, find that it's much less than 4.6 billion years, and proclaim that this proves that the universe is 6,000 years old, that it was made by God in six days, etc. Of course, it's easy to illustrate why this is stupid. For example, the ocean has 1.35 times 10 to the 18 cubic meters of water today. Also, the rate at which water enters the ocean by precipitation and runoff from rivers is 5.03 times 10 to the 14 cubic meters per year. Thus, the Earth is only 2,683 years old, because if there was no water in the oceans 2,683 years ago, and it rained 5.03 times 10 to the 14 cubic meters of water every year for 2,683 years, then there would be 1.35 times 10 to the 18 cubic meters of water in the oceans today. Exactly how much there is! It should be obvious what's wrong with this line of reasoning. The amount of water in the oceans doesn't change because the rate at which the oceans lose water by evaporation is equal to the rate at which the oceans gain water by precipitation. So whenever a creationist takes some quantity, divides it by some rate, and gets some age of the Earth that's way less than 4.6 billion years, you can bet that he is intentionally leaving out the inconvenient fact that the quantity in question is in a steady state, and thus is not even changing at all. 